I'm thrilled to talk to you today about our study using audio recorded solicited diaries with low income women in Kenya. When the COVID pandemic started, we paused an ongoing study on women's financial inclusion in Kenya to examine how women were coping financially on a day-to-day -day basis with the health and economic emergency unleashed by the pandemic. In order to comply with social distancing guidelines, we decided to deploy a solicited diaries approach to data collection. In this presentation, I will discuss some of the challenges we faced with implementation. Solicited diaries is a method of data collection where individuals are asked by a researcher to submit diary entries with a specific research question in mind over a set period of time. They have the advantage of allowing us to gather data much closer to the moment in which events occur than, for instance, an interview which relies more heavily on recall. We selected 25 low-income women from two regions in Kenya and asked them to provide diary entries daily for seven consecutive days with two follow-up interviews to be conducted at four and eight weeks. We provided a cash incentive to participants paid via the women's mobile money accounts, which are ubiquitous in Kenya. Before we launched the full study, we piloted the approach to make sure we identified and ironed out any possible kinks. In the end, we piloted the approach twice, each time with three women for three days. At the end of the pilots, we made several modifications to the procedure and protocol. First, the pilots' participants were reluctant to use their own phone credit to make the call for the recording, so we implemented a reverse charge lane that was line that was free for women to call. Second, there was some confusion about the premise of the study. To mitigate this, in the full study, we expanded the onboarding process significantly, doing a longer training session in which the procedure and approach were explained in more detail and then rehearsed with the participants. Third, during the pilots, we had some difficulty with retention. The first pilot lost all participants before the three days were up, so we decided to increase the cash incentive. This increase was also to reflect a concern about the burden to participants of calling every day for a few days and recording their diary entry. Fourth, the pilot suggested that, e that seven days of data collection may require reminders, so we added SMS reminders every two days to all participants. Finally, we decided that for the full study to prearrange time windows for each participant to record their entries, assuming that this would help plan and complete the task more predictably. Some concluding thoughts. First, audio recorded diaries worked very well for us within the constraints of the ongoing COVID situation, which may be particular to our study because Kenya has very high penetration of both cell phone ownership and mobile money accounts, which we use to pay incentives. We also get a deeper sense of the day-to-day -day challenges and coping strategies among our study subjects than we would have through retrospective interviews. But we did have to pilot significantly, which highlights the critical importance of piloting before fielding.